Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna just uh, show you the second part of the fitness tracking application we are building. So we're just gonna add a simple push-up counter. So here are the results I've got. Uh, I just took, it just took me uh, around 10 or 15 minutes to just uh, write up a small uh, small code for it to work. So if you don't know what I am talking about, I have already created the part one for this uh, thing where we get we have used Python and MediaPipe to get angle tracking from different uh, different positions, right? Like you you are getting angles for your knees, your uh, arms, and stuff like that as well. And now I'm just gonna show you how you can add a simple push-up counter to that. So here is the before code which was gym code. So I just copied this in a new file. I just uh, named it as push-up counter.py and I'm just made a small uh, few changes in the code. I added a few new variables and everything. So let's just go through it and I'll uh, I'll I'll just walk you through whatever I've done. So in the I have added a new argument called workout type where I've mentioned the default type as push-up. So this way you could actually add much more of uh, new uh, workouts using angle tracking methods and then uh, you know, you can just change it like now you want to check how accurate it is for a pull-up you can just say okay uh, the workout type is a pull-up you know you track your angles accordingly so now I just created a single use case and if you want me to uh, do it on a different uh, workouts as well do let me know it's fairly simple you now once you get, get the general gist of it it's just you know you have to just calculate and see from which angle you're taking the uh, cam and like now what are the angles you are getting and based on that you can now create a new uh, logic for counting uh, for counting your pull-ups your sit-ups and everything right so uh, let's not get in too deep into the what are the future positive this let's just uh, dive deep into the code so I just created a new workout type and after that um, I created a new variable called workout type and just mentioned the args that workout type and I created a bunch of new uh, variables called up position, down position, push up position, display position, and push up counter. Okay, we are not going to use all of those. Uh, these are like you know some of the old codes I have used. So I just go with those. Like uh, okay, and then we just go to our uh, in the try where we get all of our angles and values. Go there and create a new variable. A new uh, if loop uh, function for workout type. So we are just saying if workout type is pusher, okay. And then we are going to just uh, take up the uh, angles of your uh, left arm actually. So it's not. Uh, it's, it depends on like no how what are the parameters you want to take for uh, making uh, like no a pusher work. So I I in this to, for the sake of simplicity I just kept it as a push up. I just said no if the left arm angle is greater than 160 so uh, let me just run the code uh, let me just show you the output once again okay so you can see when he is up is the left arm angle is greater than 160 okay then i just said uh no you just created uh, in the variable of up position we just say up in the display position also up you can actually you know uh actually yeah uh, display the positions as well like you know what state are you at but I uh, know I just I did not want the clutter the output because we are also getting the arm angles and everything right now so I not just want to clutter the output that's why I did not do it and next uh, I created another condition where I just mentioned if the left arm angle is less than 110 you can you can actually change it uh, depending on how you want so here you go when he bends it's around 68 59 right so you can you can change it depending on how you want. I just wanted to give it a base, you know, a, a, a really fine loop, like you know, someone who's getting new into the push-ups. So you could you don't have to make it really tight. So I just said if the left arm angle is uh, one ten and the position is already up, so he he's coming from upside to down. Then you just say the position down position is down and the display position also down. And similarly, now we are just saying when he's going back up. So we are creating another condition where we are mentioning if the left arm angle is greater than 160 and the down position is down. Then we are, we are making it so that like now he came from up to down again to up. That way 
we are we are just uh, mentioning that now we yeah the push up uh, position is up and the push up counter is one it's as simple as that and then we are just you know uh, uh reiterating all the values we are just putting everything as none once again again it goes into a loop again it, it checks the conditions and counts accordingly so it's really fairly simple now if you want you can uh, i i would challenge you to create a more accurate push up estimator so maybe you can add more parameters for your leg angles and things like that as well but just for the sake of simplicity simplicity i'm going to do this right now and then no after that you just create a a new put text okay we just, we just mention based on your workout type so if your workout type is push up you just say cv2.put text push up counter and based on the above bold you you just change your values so it was a uh, for uh so everything there is a difference of uh 40 here 70 110 so where you can see here in the output everything has a difference of 40 so 70 uh 110 140 and everything right and similarly you could act, you could give it a bit more space like maybe so here you don't have to give it for 40 you can go for 250 uh, because that way you know you just want to uh, emphasize this like no this is a push up model it also has features for uh, the angle tracking but you want to like you know uh, highlight the push up counter so maybe you can change the color maybe you can go with a complete white color as well right and you can then just check it out so the color for white is 255 255 255 and i also increase the size a bit more okay and now let's just check the code okay so we are just going to say python push up counter uh the video is push or we are going to create a output as well we don't need the output because we already have one and maybe you can also want to mention your workout type uh, i already kept it at as default as push up but if you have a different workout type that you could use that as well and now once you press enter you give it a minute and it will show you so you can see the push up counter is in uh 0 1 it's increasing as it uh, based on the conditions it is increasing so now i am only counting the left arm angle but you can dep depending on what kind of use case you want what kind of accuracy you want you can actually change up the code as uh, as well and you don't have to worry this code all be, will be available in the github and uh, you know do just subscribe to my channel i'll be creating more content and see what works best and you know how we can wrap it up in a different idea uh, application i'll try to go with streamlit but i'll see if there are any better alternatives as well and do let me know if there are any better alternatives just to just wrap this up as a uh, full fledged application as well so that's about it guys i hope you guys have a great day and yeah uh, i hope you know you can have more fun you now just trying out different exercises that just uh, seeing uh, the results in real time